Hi guys, welcome back to the Lore Studios. We are still on the To Do Tax app application in Android. We've actually covered a lot. We've started with user authentication, the login, and the register. Uh, we move ahead to create a tax by the user. At the same time, we we'll fetch the tax created. Uh, we uh, extend more on that by updating the created tax. Now we'll be looking at how to delete the that particular tax that you don't need anymore so we'll be using uh, all data saved to the mysql database so that all users can assess the application anywhere they might be uh, with the app uh, with probably the app of an internet but it's done locally using XAMPP so you could as well push this to a shared hosting or to a VPN now let's cover how to delete the tax uh, right there using the slim php framework and uh, we'll be doing that now right there in the sublime text i have the delete function to get that done for us we'll call the app the delete you point down at the url you need to uh create well we've actually done something like update we've done something like create now well, let's name this tax delete uh, which you could see and uh you point to an id Definitely, if you want to delete uh, a particular item, uh, you will need an ID which is an identifier to that item to get that deleted. So that's why you have this ID alongside, and you have that passed into a closure uh, with a function, the ID over here inside a closure. Uh, this ID is usable, that's the essence of the ID, it's actually going to pass it alongside the parameters to the method that will. Uh, delete this particular record that's just what that will be doing you instantiate the db operation where all operations are being carried out uh, to delete to create to to update and to do some other things so now you're deleting the record calling the delete record function and passing the id the closure identifier over there and uh, having that as a response array so you get false uh, for an error if the record is deleted while true if you could not delete the record let me just change this to delete we're not updating anywhere delete the record so that's it uh, let's get to look at the function that's going to carry out this operation uh, it's actually going to be a delete record can you see over here you're going to delete uh, the record delete a tax record that's fine you save that and uh, you have that set up where you prepare the SQL statement what's the statement looking like delete from the tax where the ID is the question mark uh, the question mark is the unknown which you're actually passing from the parameter of the function the ID that you would have passed it right there from the closure get the TA and use the ID to delete that particular row that particular record now you need to bind the params uh, which is the id alone that's the value you we are looking at and it's in an integer data type that's why you have it as i if it's in a string you have it as s so you have it i and you get that executed by calling this execute and you close up so if the result returns true that's the successful uh if it returns false that's uh problem probably that is a problem whatsoever trying to delete that particular row or record so you have that set up now let's get to see how we're going to do this from the android code we need to set up the route uh which we have as the delete record as the, the tax delete i've told you where you get to look at this from uh you get to look at this from the index.php tax delete over here so that's just what we are pointing at so we need a pass params of an id so let's finish up we get to look at that in the services the api services uh call the user service now let's see how we're going to structure this out uh you have the delete record over here where you concatenate with the pass id uh, that's the needed record you need to pass into this particular method now you call the delete tax uh, where you're returning a response we 
the message the poetry is the message uh, set and get and you have the path uh, so an ID which is an identifier you needed in an int you did at time so you have it as int so cool you find with this uh, implementation let's get to see how we're going to relate with it from the code we're actually going to do that in the add tags because that's when you get a response of the intent called from the click which is the adapter uh, from there you extract some intent let's get to see the intent started uh, you get the title the date the time the tax id that's what we are pointing at that's the id we need as the path uh the tax itself so we need the id over here so we'll get to see how we're going to get that done so before you really continue you need the menu uh which uh we'll be looking at how we created that uh you override on on create options menu uh where you need to inflate the main menu uh, that's a file called main let's get to look at all the files all the file is you have you need to create a menu uh directory from the rest and from there you create a main just xml uh, menu file where you have an item uh, with an icon i see delete and we give that a white background with the title to discard and show as action if there is room can see right there so it's actually going to show that's like a bean uh, a delete bean uh, so it should understand what that is now let's get to go further so this method is called after in the, you invalidate the options menu so that the menu can be updated some menu items can be hidden or made visible where you call the unprepare options menu it won't be cool when you're trying to add a new tax or add a new to do tax and you see visibly the delete uh, pin it's not really uh, speaking well so you don't need to add that when you are creating a new tax we only need to make that visible when you're trying to delete a, an already created tax so over here you need to call the when the update tax is false so when you're not updating since we, we only set that to be true uh, when there is some extras to to work with so we get to know that that's an update but now when it's false you know that that's going to be worth a new tax being created so you get to uh, set the visibility of this menu item to false so it's going to hide that so you only do that in unprepared options menu when you're preparing the menu of the toolbar cool so if it's not it's actually going to make that visible so that's just that uh, you still need to override the on options item selected uh, that's where you could actually uh, get hold of the IDs of the menu you actually uh, uh, created in the toolbar so this is where you could get to use the switch statement to get the item ID so with that you could use your case uh, to iterate through different IDs you really want to work with now we have for the discard so this time you're going to pop up the confirmation dialog for deletion since we're deleting it's advisable it's recommended not to uh, just trigger delete immediately uh, a user strike or click on the delete button so you should actually still give another step like confirming are you really do you really want to delete this record or you just hit that with mistake if it came by mistake you could cancel but if not you could go on to get that deleted so you show the, the, delete, the delete confirmation dialog uh, let's get to look at this method this method is a dialog as we all know that sets two messages delete or cancel in cancel it's just going to dismiss that and return to the to, to the state it was before you click in on the button but when you click on positive which is the delete it's going to really get the action done for you so you're going to get you delete the attack so you have a method that will execute that now what's the method going to do firstly it shows the dialog uh, to keep you pause on that activity on on that screen entirely uh you get to do your data service call and you delete the tax method where you pass in the tax id that's the only identifier which is the path uh that will actually make up the full url to get that deleted 
and you will override two methods the unresponse and the unfailure unresponse it's when it's done successfully you get that uh, showed uh, you extract the necessary messages which is the string or uh, the boolean of false or true if it's false that, that means it was successfully deleted if not uh, you could actually use a toast just to make things uh, look right for the user on failure you add the dialog as well and you spit out some cool messages so the user could know what happened while this gets failed and you need to finish up so that it's going to close that up and launch the calling activity which is the uh, the 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 dashboard activity that's where the everything came from so you need to finish up when you're finishing up that something must be done in the dashboard activity uh, you need to override on reason method while overizing that over, when, when you override the method you will pass the fetch tax to fetch the tax all over again because it's just going to look uh, like a dummy uh, like as if nothing has been changed but when you call the method it's really going to fetch those files and let you know that wow we've actually deleted something this is the new record or these are the records uh, available for you so that's just the basic process of getting yourself getting and the record deleted and uh, doing that with the help of retrofit and uh, with the help of some uh, online API and uh, deleting the record from the MySQL database sitting right there in the cloud so we are not saving anything into the SQLite database SQLite database is not used here uh, based on some uh, reasons we've covered that in previous tutorials using the SQLite database to save uh, records to the internal database of Android now we are trying to look at other forms uh, where we could save data now you're saving to the cloud saving to the MySQL database sitting somewhere that you might not even know and this is quite okay because uh, the user could uh, log in into the application at any time the user could uninstall and install back and still have access to all records saved so that's just it so you could integrate the SQLite database with it for persistent use of data uh, so that the user won't continually fetch data from the internet just just making your app more robust so the two are very very much okay to use so I'm actually going to be showing you uh, through the emulator let's get to let's get to delete a record since we've uh, created one earlier we'll create and also delete and let's get to see how this is going to flow uh, right there so I'll be looking at how to get that done so that's just it uh, in the meantime I will implore you to please subscribe to the Lara studios and uh, let's get the community growing so we could uh, actually get uh, to do other things and uh, we employ you a lot of queries out there that I want you to do this, I want you to shed more light on these, I want you to uh, pull, put us through on this particular technology. I will actually be right there to answer uh, almost all queries. Uh, it's just really time and uh, with time I'm going to get that done for you. Uh, well, at least uh, look at the ones I feel will be quite uh, okay and useful for uh, the, the, the large scale users so it's not just going to be myopic just because you need it and uh, that's that I have to quickly do it I'll look at it and really see how useful it could be to the entire uh, subscribers out there so that's just it we have our app emulator launched so let's get to look at the app Got user authentication over there oh let's get to lock in the username and password I think it's Remember at the again, the last aspect of this tutorial will be for persistent login. So we'll just cross that out and finish up with the playlist at the again. Log in into that day app. All right, I have a record. Let me create one so we won't be uh, deleting the records. Uh, let's say uh, testing. that Saturday All right over time over 1 p.m. okay uh, we're gonna be testing out our 
of the code. That's fine. Now let's submit his record. Cool, we have that. Right? Testing. Relaxation. So let's delete relaxation. I click on that. Can you see that? We have while we were recording uh the the new records, you, you could see that we don't have this uh this pin. But now you could see it visibly. So and we have realization, the date, the time at Silverbed Galleria. So we get to you could update, but now we're not updating we want to take away this record. Just delete it. You can see the dialog deleting the schedule delete up and uh, cool record deleted you could see it's gone and it's gone for good so that's just the basic way to get yourself acclimatized with deleting and uh, we'll get to look at some other implementation later on like um, let's have a persistent uh, login and with that after that we'll wrap up for the, for the playlist and we'll move to something else thank you very very much for nagging out with throughout our this session and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Have a pleasant time. Bye-bye for now.